All right, pretty balanced. Uh, we're going we're now six trading days. This was the day last Tuesday, which is now a full week, full six trading days, where we've really been balanced here between 2784 uh, up to a high of, uh, we saw 2817 on this uh, tip up last, uh, this was last Thursday. So where does this leave us? Today we came in with a pretty simple narrative. We wanted to sell rallies up to that 2817 and the overnight session we couldn't make a new high overnight on the European and the Asian session. So we came in, we told our members we want to be short but we want to wait for time. We waited for uh, about an hour of trade to go by before we got short. We got short right at 2799.75 and we told our members we probably are likely to test this low that we put in uh, late last week, early last week around 2784 and sure enough we went to that number almost to a T. We then sold this rally again in the afternoon and uh, pulled back uh, not quite touching that and uh, took two short side trades today, really the same trade twice. The key point here is uh, the total day's range was only 22 points and we ended up netting uh, and taking out on the day about 22 points on the NASDAQ, a very good trading day. Again, when I look at trading anywhere from a quarter to a third and a great day as far as pulling out maximum points is, is a day where I can pull out on a day trade half of the nominal range. Today, we again, we were 22 points wide on the intraday range, 28.05 down to 28, uh, 27.83. So just about uh, 23 points and we pulled out about nine points or about 40 percent of the day. So here's where we are. One thing I want to talk about today is uh, the idea about trading. Trading uh, ultimately for most people is going to make them feel bad. And what do I mean that by that? Well, it's pretty simple. If you lose, you're going to feel bad. That's obvious. But not only uh, when you lose do you feel bad, but when you win, sometimes you feel equally bad and you're probably sitting there and saying, why is that? Why do you feel bad when you win? Well, the bottom line is, and this is kind of where you come into the psychology of it, is you see the top today, which is 2805, and we could have sold that very early in the open, but we waited for confirmation. So again, don't feel bad about not picking a top and a bottom. Not, you know, just by simple reason, there's not, it's very unlikely every day that we're gonna sell the top and buy the bottom and both the long and short side of things. So you have to be content and be happy with what the market gives you every day. So when we say that uh, it's not about necessarily how you deal with the loss, but how do you deal with the win? Today's a perfect example. Coming after yesterday where we saw no trades in the NASDAQ, uh, today we came in with again a solid game plan. We acted on it, we waited for time, and in the C period right, right around uh, eight o'clock, uh, 7.45 rather, was where we put the trade on. That trade happened pretty quickly in the next hour. Uh, was plenty of opportunity, opportune time to take it off. We took it off. So when you win, I don't want traders to feel like they have to have held for the perfect, for the maximum. I did not get out here at the bottom at 27.83. Matter of fact, my average was somewhere around 91. So I ended up pulling out about eight or nine points out of the trade. That being said, we also did, you know, the next thing that that winning traders find difficult to do, and, and it's pretty obvious and why they feel bad, is when you get late in the day and you try to, uh, maybe you start trading more and over trading. Uh, again, we were looking for a bounce, we took it, it gave us a few more points later in the day, but we weren't, at that point, I didn't trade after, uh, I think it was around 11 o'clock here on the West Coast. So two trades happened before two o'clock in the afternoon East Coast, and I didn't put on another trade. Sometimes in the past, traders that are successful, including myself, would have gotten back into the market. I was very content with taking almost 40% of the nominal move out of the NASDAQ today, and we stuck with that. So that's one thing I, wa I wanna focus on that we work on with our education here at Mistrade. Don't give back your profits when you have a good day. Go ahead, take the rest of the day off. If there's not great opportune uh, trades, and, and in this market where the volatility, again, is back to seven-year seven year lows, you're really looking at one to two trade opportunities a day if you're intraday trading. So you have to really focus on good entries, and our plan was set in stone. Uh, we were able to move with it, but there was no trade set up that we liked, so we didn't take one. Today, we took the trade. It happened. We made our money fairly early and didn't get back in. So when you're winning, don't feel bad by not hitting a top, catching a bottom, and also don't feel bad uh, about not taking this long trade that looks easy at the end of the day. It wasn't that easy. Yes, you could have bought here at 84, 85 again late in the day and then gotten yourself anywhere up to 13 points back. It's hard to trade two ways in an intraday 
market that is so tight like this. So don't don't go don't get too hard on yourself. And also, uh, that's why you know this is why I think this is so important of a subject in this in this video today. Be happy not only with a flat day like we had yesterday. Be happy with a day that you had good wins and good points taken out of the market today. So focus on these things, folks, and you'll really help yourself drive home uh, success as a trader. Join us at mistrade.info. Uh, we've got a three-day seminar coming up here, April 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Give us a, a jot us a note. We've still got a, a spot or two left. Uh, we'd love to have you on board. We're going to be doing these also three days every month, probably the middle part of the month, where we do an online seminar. Join us. If you have any questions, just jot us a note. Uh, info at mistrade.info, and uh, we'd be happy to answer any questions you have. Peace and have a good night.